In this lesson, we'll install and use connections by creating a form that auto-populates a Notion database. We talked about viewing external data in Notion, but what about actually making changes to other apps? Notion's API makes it such that updates in Notion databases can trigger actions in other apps. Thanks to integrator tools like Zapier and Make, you can set up automations to connect your apps without any coding required. Let's look at just a few examples of what's possible. When a task is created, add a ticket in Jira. When a content request is updated, send a message to a Slack channel. When an update is marked published, send an email to your team's alias. Create a task list that sends you a notification when you need to start working on the task. So how do you go about setting up these time-saving automations? The kind of software automation I'm describing can largely be summarized with if-then statements. If this thing happens in one app, then this other thing should happen. We call this first thing a trigger event and the second one an action. Most automations in Notion work off of updates to database pages, whether that's creating a new page in a database or updating a property, which is what we'll look at today. For starters, let's look at a constructed example of automation in Notion that connects our CX team's tasks database in Notion to the engineering team's JIRA board. Unlike database sync, which simply lets you view related information side by side, this kind of automation can actually trigger updates to the JIRA side. It takes a little bit longer to set up, but depending on your use case can be very valuable. This particular automation runs through Zapier, a powerful integrator that lets you build automated workflows called Zaps. Here, the trigger is a page being created in the task database in Notion. Once that happens, the automated action is to create a new task in JIRA. Each detail associated with the Notion task is mapped to a corresponding field in JIRA. The name of the task becomes the name of the ticket, the assignee gets migrated, and any body text in the Notion page becomes details on the JIRA ticket. Now let's build our own simple automation. We're gonna connect Typeform to Notion to automate the intake process for reference customers that our sales team can use. To start, we need to make sure Zapier is an approved connection. You can do this by checking with your administrator, or if you're a workspace owner, checking the settings and members menu. Then we'll create our database and form. I'm actually gonna use this template from Notion's template gallery as my database, but you of course could start from scratch and add or remove properties as needed for your team. When building the type form, we'll want to be mindful of how the questions we're asking will map back to this Notion database. We essentially want one type form question for every property in the Notion database. So to match the Notion database we have, we'll edit the type form to collect the company name, create a checklist of content types that they'd be willing to participate in, and also contain company size, function, industry, and location questions. In Zapier, we'll configure this so that when a submission is made to the type form, it adds an entry to the Notion database. Check out Zapier's Help Center for more on this process and for troubleshooting. Finally, watch the magic happen. Once you've completed these steps, you'll be able to use Typeform to collect and store data quickly and easily alongside the rest of your data in Notion. I'll leave you with a tip for automations in general. Anytime you find yourself doing something repeatedly on a time-specific basis, or if you're copying and pasting words, or if you're thinking, oh, this is such a pain, there's probably an opportunity to automate it. Happy building. Mm -hmm.